Hi, today we're going to be doing a vinyasa flow class and we're going to have a bit of a focus on opening up and stretching our hips but really this is just a fun flow so get yourself on your mat and we'll begin in a second. We're going to begin just by closing our eyes or lowering our gaze so gently close your eyes here or bring your gaze to the floor. Take a deep inhale through your nose, feel your spine lengthening, hold it and then exhale deeply through your nose. Take another inhale through your nose, pause for a moment before exhaling through your nose. Continue in your own time, inhaling, pausing, and exhaling. With every inhale, feel your spine lengthening. And every exhale, feel your muscles relaxing. In a moment, I want you to gently open your eyes or raise your gaze. And just before we start today's practice, it's always good to start with an intention. So an intention is sort of like a goal or a guiding principle that you can return to during your practice or throughout your day. And your intention really helps you live your life or do your practice with purpose. So whatever your intention is for this practice, whether that's to talk kindly to yourself, to take it easy, to push yourself. Just think of that intention now, hold it, keep it in your mind. And in a moment, we're going to begin our practice. So with an inhale, raise your arms to the sky. And with an exhale, come into a seated forward fold, arms out in front of you. Pull your hands forward, relax your shoulders, drop your neck and breathe into this forward fold. Take one final inhale. Stretch your fingers out long and a final exhale. Sink deeper into this stretch. On your next breath, use your hands to crawl yourself up. Then take an inhale and bring your hands back to the sky. We're coming into an easy twist, so bring your right palm to your left knee and your left hand behind you. On an inhale, elongate your spine. And on an exhale, twist towards your left. Bring your gaze slightly over your left shoulder. And with every inhale, find length. And every exhale, maybe you twist a little bit more to the left. We've just begun our practice, so there's no need to push yourself too hard in these first few stretches. And in a moment, slowly unwind, bring yourself back to center. And on your next breath, sweep your arms back to the sky and bring your left palm to your right knee. Twist your right hand behind you. Take an inhale and lengthen your spine. And an exhale, twist over, gaze over your right shoulder. Remember to use your breath to find length and depth in this posture. And in a moment, slowly unwind, come back to center. 
From here, we're coming into a side stretch. Once again, inhale and bring your shoulders up to the sky. And on your next exhale, bring your right palm to the mat and stretch over, stretching your left side body. You may keep your neck neutral, gaze forward, or you may rotate your neck and stir up towards your overstretched hand. Only do this if it doesn't hurt your neck, otherwise keep your neck at a neutral, gaze straight ahead. With an inhale, feel some length in your body, and when you exhale, maybe stretch over deeper. In this position, you want to imagine that everything's in a straight line. You're not leaning back or forward, you're just stretching to the side. And in a moment, come back to center and swap hands. Bring your left palm to the mat, right hand out, outstretched over to the side. Breathe in, find length in that side body. Your gaze may be right ahead or you may pivot your head to gaze up towards your right hand. And in a moment, come out of the stretch and back to the center. We're gonna come into an eagle arm twist. So inhale again, arms to the sky. On your exhale, twist your right arm underneath your left and bring your palms together to touch or the backs of your hands together. With an inhale, lengthen your spine, relax your shoulders. Imagine that they're externally rotating out and then with your arms just gently pull them out in front of you you should feel a nice stretch in your shoulder blades across the top of your back And in a moment, unravel your arms, bring them back to the sky. And bring your left hand to twist underneath your right. Palms together to touch, all backs of the hands together. With an inhale, elongate your spine and then relax your shoulders. Imagine that your shoulder blades are rotating out away from you. And then you want to gently pull your arms out in front of you separating those shoulder blades even more, feeling a stretch in your shoulder blades and your upper back. Relax your shoulders. Use your arms to create the tension. Your arms are pulling your shoulders away, separating your shoulder blades. And in a moment, we're going to unravel our arms, come back to neutral. From here, we're going to come into a tabletop position. So roll over your hands and meet me in a tabletop. Knees and hips in a line, hands, wrists and shoulders in a line. In this tabletop position, we're going to do a few cat-cow spine movements. So with an inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together, arch your back, hips are high. And with an exhale, tuck your chin, round your back, drop your hips. Inhale, arch your back, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Exhale, tuck your chin, round your back. Keep going in your own time with your own breath.
a few more here. And in a moment, come back to a neutral tabletop position. Engage your core, push into your palms. From here, we're going to come into a thread the needle shoulder stretch. So we're going to inhale, raise your left hand to the sky. And on an exhale, interlace it under your body. Bring your left shoulder and left ear to the mat. And use your right out hand just to support you on the other side. Out, stretch out your fingertips and imagine that someone is pulling on that left arm. If you want to increase the stretch, you can crawl your right hand just round to the side. This will add a twist to your shoulder stretch. Or you can keep your right hand by you, supporting you. And in a moment, using your right hand to support you, come out of this the way you came in. Inhale and bring your hand to the sky. Gaze up before bringing your palm back to the mat. We're going to do the same on the right side. So inhale, right hand to the sky. Gaze up and then interlace your right arm underneath you. Right shoulder and ear to the mat. Fingers outstretched. Either use your left hand to support you. Or crawl it over towards the right to add a gentle twist to this shoulder stretch. And in a moment, we're going to come out the way we came in. Use your left hand to support you. Inhale and bring your arm up to the sky. Gaze up. And then meet me back in a tabletop position. From here, we're going to do some full body hip circles. So just going with your own breath. Sink your hips back and round, forward. Feel the weight shifting between your knees and your wrists. Feel your hips becoming looser. Feel your spine waking up to this movement. Do whatever feels good here. Make your circles as big or as small as you want. And in a moment, we're going to pause and circle in the opposite direction. And in a moment, come to a gentle stop. We're going to do a calf stretch here. So take your right leg, put your toes on the mat, and then push back to stretch into that calf muscle. You should feel a nice stretch in that right calf. If you don't, you may want to adjust where your toes are and how hard you're pushing back. And in a moment, we're going to come into a hip stretch. So take that right leg, cross it over the left, and then gaze over that left shoulder. This is gently stretching your right hip. And in a moment, come out back to tabletop. From here, take your left leg, tuck your toes, and push back to stretch into that left calf. And in a moment, we're going to come into a hip stretch. Cross the left foot over the right leg. Gaze over that right shoulder. Gently stretching out that right hip. And 
me me back in a tabletop position. From here, we are gonna come into our sun salutation A. So tuck your toes and meet me in a downward dog position. Push your palms into the mat, raise your hips high and try and keep your spine straight. If it helps, you may wanna bend your knees to make sure you're keeping that back straight. If not, bring your feet and your heels to the floor. From here, we're gonna step our right leg between our hands, followed by our left. We're gonna inhale and halfway lift. Fingers may be on the mat or on the shins, spine long. We're gonna exhale and forward fold. And on our next breath, we're just gonna circle sweep our hands to the sky and raise our body. And then meet me in a standing position, Samastiti. From here, we're doing our sun salutation A. So inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift yourself halfway and elongate your spine. On an exhale, meet me in a high plank, palms on the floor. Step back, high plank. Hold your core, engage your glutes. On an inhale, come into Chaturanga. Exhale, upward facing dog or cobra pose. Then tuck your toes, come back into a downward dog position. Stay here for just a second. From here, bring your left foot between your hands, followed by your right. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale to a forward fold. And then inhale, come up, sweep your arms up to the sky and meet me in a standing position. One more time. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Inhale, halfway lift, hands on the mat or your shins. Exhale, come into a high plank position and hold. Make your way down to your mat, Chaturanga. And then come into a cobra pose or an upward dog pose. In a moment, tuck your toes. Come back into a downward dog position. Push down with your palms. And from here, stepping that right leg forward between your toes, followed by your left. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, fold over your legs. Inhale, raise your torso up, sweeping your arms to the sky. And come back down into a standing position. From here, we're gonna come into our standing sequence. So from your standing position, inhale your um, left leg back and meet me in a warrior two with your right leg bent. Your warrior two position, you want your right leg bent, your left leg, uh, toes pointing to the edge of your mat, hips facing the edge of your mat, core strong, spine long, arms out to the side, and you want your gaze to be over your right fingertips. Take a deep breath here, relax your shoulders, bend deeper into that right leg. Stay here for a few breaths. In a moment on your next inhale, I want you to flip your palms and straighten your legs. On your next exhale, bend your leg, flip your palms back. Inhale, raise. Exhale, bend. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, straighten your legs. Exhale, bend. Final one, inhale, straighten your legs. Exhale, bend back into that warrior two. In a moment, I want you to come into your triangle pose. So inhale, straighten your legs and raise your arms up. From here, bring your arms back out in front of you. Lean your torso over your straight right leg. 
and bring your hand to your thigh, your shin, lower to your ankle and raise that left hand up. Your goal in your triangle pose is to keep your body in a straight line. You don't want your hips to be jutting out and twisting down so you can get further. Try and keep that torso straight, those hips pointing in the same direction. Spread out your fingers on your left hand to really engage your arms. Gaze up towards the sky if you can, or just gaze towards your side and use that right hand to support yourself. And in a moment, we're going to come out of our triangle pose back into our warrior two. So raise your torso and re-bend that right leg. Gaze over the right fingertips. We're going to come into a peaceful warrior. So you want to flip your right hand, raise it towards the sky, and then bring your left hand to your left thigh or shin. And gaze upwards, stretching into that right side body. Peaceful warrior. And in a moment, you're going to come out of this posture and you're going to windmill your hands to the mat and drop your left knee, coming into a kneeling lunge position. From here, we're going to inhale and raise our torso, arms up to the sky. Engage your glutes here, squeeze them and push your hips forward. Take a deep breath here, spread your fingertips. Engage your core. And in a moment, bring just your left hand to the mat and twist up towards your right side, twisting from the waist, twisting from the torso. If you want to intensify this twist, tuck your back leg, raise it up. And in a moment, bring your right hand on the inside of your foot, drop your back knee again, and we're going to come into a corkscrew pose. So walk your right foot out towards the edge of your mat, maybe turn your toes slightly to a diagonal. With your next breath, bring your right hand to your right thigh, gently push it away from you. If this feels good, you may come into the full position bending your left leg and squeezing it towards you with your right hand. Keep breathing here, feeling your hips opening, your body twisting. And in a moment, Gently release that back leg. Bring your hands back to the mat. And meet me in a downward dog position. Tuck your toes, bring your leg back and push up into a downward dog. Breathe here for just a second. From here, we are gonna bring our right leg between our hands followed by our left, and we're going to slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time, bringing our shoulders up and then our neck and head last until we're in a standing position, Samastiti. Reset your body, relax your shoulders, hold your core. We're going to repeat this on the other leg. So I want you to swing your left leg back, and then I want you to pivot your left toes to the sides of your mat, pivot your right toes, and then bend into that left leg to win a warrior two position on the left side. You want your core strong, your hips facing the edge of your mat, arms out, shoulders relaxed, and gaze over that bent right leg. Stay here for a few breaths.
And in a moment, on your next inhale, straighten your legs and raise your hands. On your exhale, bend back into that knee. Inhale, straighten your legs, raise your hands. Exhale, bend back into that knee. Inhale, straighten your legs. Exhale, bend. Inhale. Exhale, bend. Inhale. And exhale, bend. On your next inhale, straighten your legs. Then bring your arms back out to the side. Lean your left arm towards your left leg and then meet me in a triangle pose. Left hand on your thigh or your shin or ankle. Right arm strong and long. Take a deep breath here and remember the goal is to try and have your hips continuing to face in the same direction, to not be twisting your hips to get into this posture. So it doesn't matter how deep you can go into your triangle, aiming to stay long and strong. You may gaze up to your fingertips. You may gaze right ahead. Inhale, keep that chest open. Keep pivoting so your hips stay straight. And in a moment, we're gonna come out of our triangle pose, back into our warrior two. So raise your torso, re-bend that left leg, gaze over the fingertips. From here, we're coming into our peaceful warrior. So flip your left arm, raise it to the sky and bring your right hand to your thigh or your shin, whatever feels good. Keep bending into that left leg and keep gazing upward, stretching into that left side body. From here, we're gonna come out and we're gonna pivot our hands to the mat and drop our right knee. We're gonna raise our body up with an inhale into a kneeling lunge. We're gonna engage our glutes and push our hips forward, gaze upwards and take a deep breath. And in a moment, bringing just your right arm, your right palm to the mat, twist your torso up towards the left. The twist should be coming from your torso, from your tummy. Raise your fingers and twist. If you want to intensify the twist, tuck your back toes and raise your back leg. And in a moment, bring your left palm to the inside of your foot. And we're gonna come into a corkscrew pose here. So walk your left foot out to the edge of your mat and maybe point your toes slightly diagonal. And from here, take your left palm and gently push into your left knee, not your left knee, your left thigh. Please don't push your knee, don't push on any joints. Push your palm into your left thigh and twist. And you can stay here, or if it feels good, bend your back leg and grab hold of it with the left hand to come into a corkscrew pose. This will add a quad stretch to your hip opener and a twist. Breathe here. And in a moment, gently lower your back leg. Bring your palms to the mat. And then meet me in a downward dog. So tuck your toe and bring your leg back up. Push your palms down and raise your hips. In this downward dog, I want you to use your hands to walk yourself back towards your legs. And when you get here, grab hold of opposite elbows and just hang in a rag doll. Maybe shake your head left and right, up and down. And then slowly, slowly 
bring your body back up, shoulders and then your neck and your head. And from here, we're going to come into our hip opening sequence. So step your left leg out and meet me in a wide legged position. From here, we're going to come into our goddess pose. So you want to pivot your toes so that they're diagonally facing the corners of your mat or the edges, front and back, sorry. And when your feet are pointed outwards, you then want to take a deep breath. Maybe hands are in a prayer at your heart. And you want to sink deep into, the, into your legs. Wait for your feet. Push into your feet as you sink down. Take a breath, relax your shoulders. Whilst we're in this goddess pose, you may want to play about with movement. You may sway from side to side. You may inhale and straighten, exhale and sink. This might help you get deeper into the posture. Or if you're comfortable, just stay here, breathing sinking in. And in a moment, straighten your legs, come out of your goddess pose. And meet me at the front of your mat for some standing balances. Shake your legs out, shake your arms out. Play about with the weight in your feet. Rock the weight from your toes to your heels. Maybe rock it left to right. Till you find your center of gravity, your balance. And then from here, we're going to come into our tree pose. So inhale. Raise your right knee up, grab hold of it with your hands. Find length in your spine. And then you can stay here, or you can come into a full tree, bringing your right foot to your left thigh. And to help with balancing, imagine that you're pushing your thigh and your foot together. You may keep your hand on your foot for support, or if not, bring your hands into a prayer position in front of your heart. Breathe here for five breaths. And in a moment, we're going to come out of a tree pose. If you can, don't let your foot touch the floor. But if you need to touch the floor, you, you're most welcome to. And we're going to try and come into our warrior free position. Keep your hands in front of your heart. And then just lean your torso forward. Push your leg back in a straight line. And only go as far as feels comfortable. You may be here. Or you may be coming into a full warrior free. Keep your hands at heart center, gaze directly in front of you. If you're finding the balancing difficult, return to any single leg balance that feels good for you. Here for one more breath. And slowly come out of the posture, place your right foot on the floor, shake your arms out. And we're going to do the same on our left side. So with an inhale, Grab hold of your left leg with your hands, stand strong and tall. And then maybe you stay here or maybe you come into a tree posture, left foot on right thigh, push thigh and foot into each other and bring your palms in front of your heart. Gaze directly ahead. A few more breaths here. And in a moment, we're going to come out of our tree pose. 
If you can keep your left leg up, keep it up and bent, or bring it back to the floor for a moment. And we're gonna come into a warrior three. So, slowly tip forward and bring your leg behind you, balancing on your right foot. Gaze ahead, use your glutes to help you raise that back leg. Use your core muscles to help you balance. Stay here for a few more breaths. And in a moment, gracefully come out of the posture back into a standing position. From here, we're going to come into some core work before doing some back bend. So, standing at the top of your mat, standing position. We are going to inhale, raise our hands to the sky, exhale, fold forward over our body. Take a deep breath and see how deep you can get in this fold that feels good for you. Maybe your hands are on your shins for support or maybe they're on the mat. And then on your next breath, halfway lift, elongate your spine. And then we're going to come into a high plank. So palms down, step back, engage your core, engage your glutes, push down for your palms. And we're here for a few breaths. Inhale, feel your core engaged and exhale. And in a moment, we're going to come into a side plank or a stargazer pose. So roll onto your right wrist and raise your body to the side. You can come here or you can drop your knee and come into a stargazer variation if that's more comfortable. Whatever posture that you take, we're just here for a few more breaths. And come back into a high plank position. You can drop your knees at any time. From here, roll onto your left wrist and meet me in a side plank on your left side. Try not to wobble like I am. Or come back into your stargazer variation if that feels better. We're here for a few more breaths. And come back to your high plank. And meet me in a child's pose. Knees wide, toe together to touch. Crawl your hands forward. From a child's pose, I want you to come to lie down on your mat. We're going to come into a Superman posture. So bring your arms out in front of you and your legs are outstretched long. And from here, I'm just adjusting on my mat. <laughs> from here, with an inhale, engage your core. And with an exhale, raise your arms and your feet off the mat. Keep breathing, but keep squeezing your core and squeezing your glutes. Squeezing your back muscles to keep yourself engaged. One more breath here and release. Take a quick rest here. And we're going to repeat this one more time. Inhale, engage your core. Exhale, raise your arms, raise your legs. Squeeze your glutes, point your toes, engage your back muscles, keep breathing, and release. From here, we're going to push back into a wide-legged child's pose. So come up, bring your toes to touch, and sink your hips back.
From here, use your hands to bring yourself back up. And then adjust yourself so that you are taking a seat on your heels in the center of your mat. We're gonna do some camel poses. Now, this can be an intense back bend, and we're gonna all start off doing one variation, which is supported with our hands. If this feels good for some of you, you can come into the full, full posture, but if not, I recommend everyone stays with the supported posture. And if that feels too hard for you, you can come into a baby camel, where our, we're in a child's pose with our legs, knees wide, and we just gently push our hips back like so. But for everyone who's engaging with the real full camel, meet me sitting on your heels and then raise your torso up. Make sure that your knees and legs are hip width distance apart. And we're just going to start off with a few shoulder rolls. So just roll your shoulders back to mobilize up those joints. We'll just do five here, a few more, one more. And with your shoulder joints mobilized, bring your hands to the lower back with your fingertips resting on top of your bum, like you're putting your hands in back pockets. Squeeze those shoulder blades together and open up your chest like you're really proud of something. Take a deep breath here. And on your exhale, just gently push your hips forward, opening up your chest and lean Lean back slightly, using your hands to support you. Keep pushing those hips forward, keep leaning back, and you may want to drop your neck. And in a moment, slowly come out of the posture, sit on your heels. So that's a supported version of a camel backbend. Anyone who wants to try the full posture can do so in the next round. Take a moment of rest here, take a few breaths. Consider how your body just felt. And in a moment, raise your torso up to the sky. We're gonna roll our shoulders back a few times. One more. And then we're gonna place our hands on our lower back like we're putting them in our back pockets. We're gonna inhale, elongate our spine and open up our chest. And then we're gonna start to slowly bend backwards, maybe dropping our heads. If this feels good, you can maybe grab hold of an ankle with a hand and then the other ankle with your other hand. And imagine there's a piece of string pulling your hips and your chest. And in a moment, bringing one hand back to support you and then slowly raising up, bringing the other. Come and slowly sit on your heels. Pause here for a moment. And then we're gonna come into a passive child's pose. So don't move your legs, just bend your torso over your bent legs. And bring your hands around you onto the floor like you're becoming a ball, and rest your head on the mat. And in a moment, come out of this child's pose and make your way onto your back. We're gonna slowly come down onto our mats. And from here, we're gonna do a lying down butterfly. So bring the soles of your feet together, opening your hips wide. It doesn't matter if your knees are staying raised. Bring one hand onto your belly and the other hand onto your heart. And take some deep breaths through your nose here. And maybe with every exhale, your hips relax just a little bit 
and start to make their way down to the floor. And in a moment, we're going to come into a happy baby pose. So raise your legs to the sky, grab hold of your toes, feet or shins, bring your knees wider than your ribcage, flatten your back to the mat, and either let gravity or your biceps pull your legs down to open up your hips and lengthen that lower back. You may want to rock side to side in this happy baby and massage your spine, or you may choose to stay still. And in a second, bring your knees together and squeeze them into your body like a ball. And we're going to come into a twist on our right side, so lower your arms. Bring your legs towards the right side, but bring your gaze towards the left and come into a twist, a supine twist. And in a moment, come back to center and drop your legs to the left, gaze towards to the right. And come back to center. Squeeze your legs in one last time before coming into Shavasana, your laying down posture. Legs and arms out wide. Take a deep breath through your nose and exhale through your nose. And feel free to stay in your Shavasana for as long as you like. You can stay here for a few minutes. And as you lay in your Shavasana, reflect on the intention you set at the start of your practice. Do you feel like that intention helped you and guided you in this practice? Can you take that intention outside of this practice and bring it with you for the rest of the week? Thank you so much for practicing with me today and I will see you next time.